Africa Global Radio. Our story, our growth, our future. Headlines across Africa. Welcome to Africa Global Radio. I'm Intimeleng Lebohambi, bringing you headlines across Africa for Wednesday, December 13th. In today's bulletin, Niger plans to start oil exports from Benin Pipeline in January. South Africa selects nuclear power as part of measures to address electricity crisis. And President William Ruto of Kenya says the country is out of debt distress. Niger's military leader, Abdurrahman Tiani, says the country expects to export its first barrels of crude oil through a new Niger-Benin pipeline in January. According to him, storage tanks in Cotonou, a large city port in Benin, are currently being filled and should be done by January, when the commercialization phase begins. Niger will get 25.4% of the 90,000 barrels a day that will be exported through the pipeline. The PetroChina-backed export pipeline project was officially launched on November 1st, linking Niger's Agadem oil field to the Benin port of Cotonou. Tiani says the country aims to refine more oil locally and that their desire is not to market crude oil. They want to move towards a refinery which will process Nigerian crude oil and soil. South Africa plans to increase its nuclear power production, which is currently marginal, as part of measures to address the electricity crisis in the country. The government says it had launched discussions with several potential suppliers for the acquisition of new production units. These could be conventional reactors or small modular reactors, which are less powerful but also less costly. Zezamel Mbambo, who is in charge of nuclear power at the Ministry of Energy, says he hopes to see the first reactors in service by 2032 or 2033. Electricity Minister Khosien Suramakhopa stresses that this this step is an important milestone which should bring an additional 2,500 megawatt of electricity generation capacity. Kenya's President William Ruta says the country is out of danger of over-indebtedness. The East Africa's economic powerhouse has been struggling with challenging government coffers, high inflation and a reducing currency that sent debt repayment costs soaring. Speaking at a public ceremony marking 60 years of independence, President Ruto notes that they have made the right choices, sometimes taking very difficult and painful decisions to steer Kenya away from the edge of a disastrous abyss of over-indebtedness and set the country on a new course. He further mentions that the gross domestic product had grown by 5.4% over the past six months. And with that, we've come to the end of Headlines Across Africa with me, Itimileng Labakhambi. Join us again tomorrow for our fourth Bulletin of the Week, right here on Africa Global Radio. For this and more, check us out on africaglobalradio.com, on Facebook and YouTube, Africa Global Radio, on Twitter and Instagram, AF Global Radio.